Hello friends, I'm Maria A.K. Sita from Sita's Budgeting Journey. On my channel, I'll be budgeting my monthly income using the cash envelope system and fund savings challenges. I'll also be sharing some faith-based content and of course some tips on how we can prioritize our self-care. So if any of this interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. If you're already subscribed, thank you for your ongoing support. I appreciate and love you all. Alrighty, guys, in today's video, as you can see, I have my monthly affirmations binder and my 100 envelope challenge. I only have a few dollars because, to be honest with you, this video is not really about the cash stuffing. I only have, I think, $25, $30, maybe $35, I'm not sure. But, guys, I want to talk to you about something more important than cash stuffing, guys, and that's just our appreciation for life, our appreciation for each other. Um, this week, I unfortunately found out that two, two members of our community lost a loved one. And, you know, as all of you know, yesterday was my birthday, or not all of y'all, but some of y'all know because we've talked about it. <laughs> but um, it was... It was a sad day for me and it, and it wasn't sad because I wasn't out partying. I wasn't being bombarded with gifts and anything like that. It was a sad day because I, number one, I found out about the death of, of one of our our friends here, their son. And, and I'm talking about Susan Pacheco, um, her youtube channel i believe it's susan pacheco 8318 susan is a sweetheart she has yet to post any video but she is truly on this journey with us she's cashed up her binder she is really budgeting trying to get out of debt she has an instagram and she is all over when i tell you she's all over youtube i see her commenting on everybody's videos I have reached out to her on her ig and we've exchanged a couple of messages since her son you know, was hospitalized i don't want to get into it some of you already know what happened but sadly he did pass away he passed away i believe he was 26 years old guys and um it was on the 26th so that was truly truly a sad day for me i've been praying for him as if i knew him i've been praying for her as if i knew her personally because i know the journey she is embarking on and i always pray that no other mother has to endure this type of loss but sadly she lost her son he is resting in heavenly peace i hope him she calls him boyo his name was sean that was their golden boy i hope him and machi meet you know machi's my son he was 30 very close to, you know in age the two of them i hope they meet in heaven and i hope they are so proud of us as their mothers i hope they continue to give us strength because let me tell you Five years ago when I lost my son, I didn't think I was going to live past his funeral. I mean, it's just that heartbreaking. The pain is so unbearable. But by the grace of God, by many prayers, by just having faith, I am still here. And I know she's going to be okay. It sounds like she has a lot of family who were all by her side. And, um, you know, it, it, it means a lot. And I just hope and pray that she knows that. If nothing else, she has us, the members of this community, who will be there for her if she needs us. And Susan, I am telling you this, anytime, day or night, I've sent you my number. Feel free to reach out to me. My other dear friend goes by my angel, Sam519, guys. I am speaking of Francis. And let me tell you, these ladies are exactly the same. They are both on a budgeting journey, but they have yet to post their first video. And I'm telling y'all, hurry up, let's post these videos because I'm looking forward to following their journey. Um, Frances is another sweetheart. She has been completing challenges. She's been budgeting. And I am again looking forward. Come on, ladies, we've been waiting. Let's let's start, you know, slowly but surely. You support us all. And I guarantee you, I know you guys will get so much support and love from this community both ladies have a youtube channel again they have yet to post their first video but it's coming it's coming and they um are on instagram so if you guys want to reach out to them on instagram show them some love and support and let them know that we're thinking of them but most importantly take a moment take a moment to say a prayer that, that they both feel the love that we have for them francis 
lost her dad on Wednesday. And again, I had another sad loss. I believe he had just turned 88. Unfortunately, he passed away. And we all know he is resting in heavenly peace. And we just pray for the comfort of the family during this time for both families because they're going to need it. The next few days is going to be very difficult as they prepare to have funeral services and have to lay their loved one to rest. So please take a moment and pray for these ladies and just just pray for strength, you know, for for courage because it takes a lot of courage to just face the day you know when you have to lay a loved one to rest so ladies i love you both so much and again i am here for both of you if you need anything if you need someone to talk to please by all means reach out to me let me know Alrighty, guys so i know maria <laughs> i i just you know i they deserved um to have this community by their side. So I'm gonna cash stuff these again. It's not a lot of money, but I'm gonna try and get ahead on this one here. And then I'm going to see if I have any money left. We'll go ahead and do the 100 envelope challenge. So we have 5, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, let me get a dice out of here i'll use this one here today and we're gonna work on this here and i finished september so we're gonna start a little early with october so let's see maybe we'll do two or three of them depending on what we roll <laughs> one two three four Another four. That's Jaden calling his sister. I'm going to put one back and put a five there. Guys, this is a two. Let's keep going. No, we should have stopped. <laughs> it never fails. Every time I'm like, let's keep going. Why not? All right, six. So, guys, that quick. We should have $14, right? 10, 14, 16. 16 dollars. No, why? 10. Wait, I thought it was 14 dollars. Let's see. 8, 9, 10, 16 dollars. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to assume that I didn't put the two dollars in. Alrighty, so that is it for this here. I am going to, oh, look at me, look at me, achieving goals. Why I sit here and cash stuff? Did you all see that? <laughs> um, let me go ahead over. Let's see how much money we have left. So five, six, seven. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. I don't know if 19 is available, but we shall see. Of course not. 19 is not available, but 18 is. So why don't we just put it at 18 and we'll just save a dollar. Okay. So five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. Give me a moment, guys. I want to get some change because I don't want to overstuff this. One moment, please. All right, I am back. I have eighteen dollars here. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And like I said, I'm just gonna put this dollar to the side. It's gloomy because it is going to rain again been raining for the last two days how are you guys doing if any of you are in the path of the hurricane i hope you are all safe if you sustain property damage i hope it wasn't too bad and again i hope you guys are all safe because the houses materialistic things can be replaced but life is precious and that's something that we have to stop taking for granted stop assuming that the person you love or the person you know your family member your neighbor your is going to be there tomorrow when you wake up let's start appreciating each other while we're here because again we just don't know and again to susan 
and Francis. I love you guys. You are in my prayers. Stay strong. If you need anything, if you need to talk, please reach out to me. I am here for you. Alrighty, guys. On that note, I am going to end this video. I know it wasn't very long. It wasn't a whole lot of money, but I needed to stuff some of this money. I didn't want to just keep it here and then end up spending it. We have a birthday party we're going to in a little bit, so I need to hurry up and take a shower because I don't want to be late. And it's kind of late. The party is from 6 to 8. It's at Urban Air. The kids love going there, so they're going to have fun. And then tomorrow, we have another birthday party, which is for Jaden's best friend from school. So I'm really looking forward to hanging out with them tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Take care, stay blessed, and we will be chatting soon.